the IMF spreads AIDS in Africa. If African countries succeed in obtaining affordable AIDS medications despite the policies of Al Gore and the Cheney Bush administration, the IMF may still prevent them from using them effectively. A May 2007 special report from the Medicine Sans Frontiers, Doctors Without Borders, shows why in most African countries there are severe shortages of healthcare staff including doctors, nurses and others. The rural regions suffer the worst of the shortage and those needing AIDS antivirals often sit on the waiting list until they die, never getting the treatment they need. In, other, in their report, MSF places much of the blame squarely on the IMF for their policies of fiscal austerity in poor countries they advise. One section entitled, Wage Bill Ceilings and Other Restrictive Measures Force Rationing of Healthcare Staff reports, most low-income in countries determine their budgets in collaboration with the IMF. The IMF encourages countries to set limits on public spending, and these limits are based on domestic resources rather than on need. A ceiling is also set for the total wage bill, which includes all salaries for the public sector. Therefore, even if donors were willing to finance human resource costs, such as increased salaries or new health care worker posts, countries may be prevented from using such funds because of IMF-supported spending limits. The result is that health care posts are limited and salaries are restricted. For example, in 2002 in Mozambique, the caps on wage bills meant many new workers could not be hired. Graduating nurses from Tet University School waited up to four years before being employed by government. So the IMF is working <laughs> not so much with but against some countries to prioritize their resources rather than the need of their country's uh, ability to recover from HIV AIDS so they're actively keeping them from getting healthy and of course the IMF would have vested interests in many areas of Africa what with all the oil gold uh, and many other minerals and resources that are in Africa it's an extremely large untapped place and the more you keep these countries down the less ability they have to actually ask for what they want and get it Mozambique has 1.8 million people who are HIV positive insane insane of the 280,000 of them who need ARV drugs only 44,000 have been initiated on treatment, a deficit of 235,900 people according to the MSF. And so we can see uh, the vested interest in keeping Africa sick. So uh, there you go, How do you, what do you think about that? <laughs> All right, peace out. That's another addition to the HIV and AIDS conspiracies and beyond playlist. Thanks for watching.